I'm not interested in today's bodybuilders. That's too much. The classic physiques. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Dave Draper. Franco Colombo. That's what I want to look like. But maybe just a little bit better. I'm Callum von Morga. So this is one of my favorite shoulder workouts. I uh, used it leading into the Mr. Universe this year. It's, uh, it's great for hypertrophy, building muscle. Um, so uh, if you want to try something different, uh, try this one. We're going to start with the seated overhead press, followed by the dumbbell overhead press, and then we're going to do some upright rows. After that, we're going to do some side battle raises, some drop sets, and we're going to finish off with the rear delt flies. So with the rest times today, we're gonna keep them short for the warm-ups, about 30 seconds. As we get into the workout, we're gonna increase the rest time to up to about a minute. All right, let's get into it. So we got the first exercise here, seated overhead press. I'm gonna be doing six sets. The first two are just light warm-up sets, where I'll do like you know, 10, 15 reps. And then from there, we're gonna go a bit heavier, do a few lower reps, get up to about 100 kilos or 225 pounds, do a bit less reps, get up to like a max weight for about eight, six reps. And then we're gonna drop it down a bit, do a bit lighter, finish it off. If I can do 15, and I realize, oh, you know, I can do another 10. I'll, I'll do another 10. You know, I won't just go, oh, did 15, rack it up. It's a bit sort of instinctive. It's not like by the book sort of thing. This is set four. So I'll do this one for six or eight. I'll ram it up an extra play for the fifth set. So I'll go heaviest on the fifth. And then I'll probably drop back to that on the sixth set. Sometimes when I'm uh, gonna hit like a heavy set or a max something, it, um, it's good to get a, uh, a spotter in case you can't handle it. I got Albert here, so he's gonna help me out today. Oh, cool. thanks, I appreciate it. That's it, seven reps on the last one. They're pretty exhausted, so uh, now we're gonna move on to overhead dumbbell press. All right, so uh, we're doing exercise two here, which is a uh, seated dumbbell press. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two sets and a drop set. So I'm gonna start with these ones here, do like 10, 12 reps, whatever. After that, gonna hit these ones here and then finish on the, uh, the heavy weights at the end. As soon as I finish that set, I'm gonna rest 10, 20 seconds, and I'm gonna go back to the first ones and, uh, and rep to fail. So you're gonna rest about a minute. I'm gonna hit these, the 70s, rep them out, rest another minute, do the 80s, and then, uh, as soon as they're down, wait about half time, about yeah, 20 seconds, wrap them out. I don't traditionally wear headphones, usually get in the zone without, without the music. So if I'm at a gym, like at home, whatever, and there's a lot of people, I don't want to get distracted or bothered too much. The headphones in with no music, and so it looks like I'm listening or I'm focused, but people don't bother you as much when you've got headphones on, so it's a good way to have an intense workout. With. So that's it, as you saw, 
at the end when I couldn't do any more full reps I, uh, I just did partials another little trick to help break through plateaus or intensify your, your workout so I'm pretty gassed at the moment I'm out of breath I'm going to be doing some uh, upright rows just three sets Sort of medium weight, about 10 reps each. Pretty simple, good to hit the uh, definition between the shoulders and the triceps, so let's get it done. I like to go about shoulder width. Main thing is, is that the elbows always pointing up to ceiling. If you like that, it's, it's more, uh, I feel a lot more in the shoulders and the elbows pointing straight up. Uh, I go about shoulder width because I feel it burn a lot more. So yeah, try and keep it tight, like try not to swing, try and pause it for a second or two at the top. It just increases the, uh, the burn. If I can hit 10 reps on a weight, I'll go heavier. If I can only get, say, six reps, it's heavy enough. So I try and keep the reps. That's my way of keeping it in between two sort of numbers, between six and 10. If you do 10, it's too light. If you do six, it's too heavy, only, you know. So every time I go heavier, if I can hit 10, keep going heavier. So we do an exercise four here. Um, side lateral raises. It's going to be similar to the dumbbell press, um, except instead of doing just a single drop set, I'm going to do a triple drop set. So I'm going to start with the 30 pounds, move up to the 35 pounds, and then after that I'm going to go back to the 30 pounds, drop it to the 25 pounds, drop it to the 20 pounds until I'm gassed. There's no particular rep number, it's just a fail each time. A lot of people, they sometimes start from the side and you go up from here, which uh, it's, it's harder. Uh, but if I'm doing them sort of late in my workouts, I'm a little bit exhausted. I don't mind just using a bit of momentum to get up there. It's still gonna, they're still gonna get a good pump, still gonna work them. Usually you can uh, go a little bit heavier. If you're going for strict form, just from the sides, you usually gotta drop down a little bit. So I always seem to rest less when I don't know what time it is. So I get excited, I want to do the next set, but I realize if I wait an extra minute, or 30 seconds, I'll be able to do it a lot more effective then. So I won't gas out as quick. I did an extra drop set. Fuck. Oh, fuck. So at the end, I did the triple. I felt like doing another one, but I did it with lighter, strict form from the sides. As soon as I couldn't do any more, I just fucking reef it up until, until you got a stabbing pain in your, in your arms and you can't lift it anymore. So that's how you do it. That's how it's done. Small dumbbell graveyard down here. <laughs> All right, so this is the final exercise for the shoulder workout, rear cable flies. I'm gonna do four sets, 10 to 15 reps for each set, and uh, nice controlled, steady movement. Nothing crazy, not too heavy, um, just very consistent. All right. I need to yeah, slow myself down because I know I'm going to lift better. I've got a little bit more rest most of the time. I don't like to rest too long because 
I don't know, I get, I get, get cagey, I get free, I need, I need to lift something. I don't follow the strict sciences about it or anything in particular way, I just, just wing it a lot of the time, it's all I've ever done, so. <laughs> That's it. We're done. Uh, feel good. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's it for today's shoulder workout. This workout here is broken down on the article on bodybuilding.com. For more videos, articles, content like this, hit up bodybuilding.com and check it out. Do it.